What's up everyone, it's Jamie here from Shopify Masterclass. And today we're gonna to review the simple theme on the Shopify theme store. This theme is a free theme, it's very easy to install and it's very easy to set up. Before we get into this, I just wanna quickly thank our sponsor. Discover Profit Calc, the affordable and easy to set up Shopify app that crunches your numbers in just one click. It automatically syncs with all your accounts and expenses to calculate your profit, displaying everything in an easy to read dashboard so you understand your business in real time. Start for free on the Shopify App Store today. To review the simple theme, we're going to go over a few categories. We're going to go over the home page, the product page, the footer menu, the mobile view, menu editing, and the cart page customization, as well as the speed. Overall, this will give a broad overview of how the theme performs and if it's right for your Shopify store. I'd say overall, though, this is a very simple Shopify theme, exactly as the theme name is described. It's really meant for smaller Shopify stores with not a lot of products. It's really good for stores as well that are very visually appealing because there's, there's not a lot of product description customization. So it's really meant for showcasing images. It also has a light box feature to do so as well. Before we start getting into the categories, I just want to quickly go over the preview of the theme so you get an idea of how it looks. So overall, this is the Shopify theme page. Here it is. And there are three styles included. So overall, you can customize these as well to give you an overall appeal in terms of the color customization and a little bit of the layout. So if you look here, there's light, there's beauty, and there's toy. I'm just going to go over light as this is the basic theme option here. So when I click view demo, it's going to pop open the demo here. And overall, you can see a pre-filled Shopify store. And as you can see, it is very visually appealing. It's very simply laid out and your products are really at the forefront. As I've said before, overall, it's a clean structure showcasing your products. I think a clothing store here really is the best example for its theme as it really fits with the visual aspect overall. It's got a nice side menu. If you click into the products here, it's got a nice layout, the ability to add multiple images, description. It also has a products you may like. So to show similar products based on, based on dynamic recommendations, this can be done through your collections or your tags and so on. All right, let's move into the categories. The first category we have here is the homepage. So overall, the homepage customization is quite limited. There are not a lot of options in terms of what you can put on the homepage and how you can display them and customize them. They're very basic overall. So for example, there's no customization in terms of how you want to change the color of certain sections. It's also very basic in terms of how you display your products. As you can see here, if you go to the add section, once this loads, there aren't a lot of options. Typically, the homepage has quite a few widgets you can add in to really personalize your homepage to your Shopify store. So if you were to click here on a featured banner, for example, it doesn't really get any customization on terms of the layout. It just, you add an image and you add an image link and that is it. This is okay if you're first starting out, but if you really want to customize your homepage, you may want to consider a different theme. But being said, this is a free Shopify theme and its benefits lie in different areas rather than the customization of the homepage. Rather than other themes where you display your story on the homepage, this theme is really meant for just displaying your products. So if you go over to the demo here, the first thing that shows up is a feature collection because that's what they want you to see. They want you to see the products up front and then the center of the homepage. So in summary, the homepage is very basic. If you're, not, if you're looking for more customization, you should look to a different theme rather than the simple theme. Onto the product pages, Overall, it is pretty basic as well, just as the homepage. There's no ability to add, let's say, tabs, for example, to show different parts of your description. Maybe you want to show the materials, maybe it's about us, maybe it's a contact page, maybe it's more details on the story of the product. There is no customization there. It's a very basic block of text, and you can add images and so on in your Shopify product description customization. Also as well, there's very basic tabs here on like what you can select. There's no real customization on the layout of it. I also find the images a little strange as it can push down the product description. As you can see in the demo here, they are included below the main hero image. And then as you scroll down, there's a bunch of blank space here over on the right as it just pushes everything down in order. So in summary here, just like the homepage, very basic customization of what you can do on the product page. Moving on to the footer section of the website. Overall, the footer section doesn't have a lot of customization either. There are some basic content that you can add, some menu, text, menu, and ledger sign up. Overall, the footer section isn't the most important part of the website, but there aren't the ability to add a lot of different widgets here. Moving on to the mobile view, just like any Shopify theme, it's optimized very well for mobile. There are no issues in terms of how it goes from the computer view to the mobile view. Everything condenses quite well, and it's a nice order that's easy to scroll through. So I wouldn't worry anything about the mobile here. It condenses very well to look very in line with the desktop website. The menu editing 
doesn't have a lot to offer either. There's no ability to really customize, let's say, a mega menu. You'd have to look externally for an app to do so, as it only really gives you the sidebar menu here, and you can change it there. There's no ability to move the menu to the top or even to the right side. It's just you stick with the what the Shopify theme gives you here. In terms of card page editing, there are basically zero options with this theme in terms of how you customize it. There's no ability to add multiple products, dynamically add products here, maybe change the layout of the checkout button. It's just really what you get here. Next, let's move on to speed. Overall, the speed is excellent. I mean, my Shopify store doesn't really have anything on it. But if you were to look at the theme files, for example, the CSS that's loaded with the theme, the JavaScript that's loaded with the theme, you can see here that it takes almost no time at all. and has a very good speed grade. So the speed is excellent for this theme. And it actually goes to show, along with the zero customization, or almost no customization options, the speed is quite good. Because there's not a lot of extra JavaScript, there's not extra widgets that are loaded with the pages. Overall, the Shopify theme is good if you have a smaller store with not a lot of products, and you're not looking for a lot of customization. That aspect is quite key here, as there are not a lot of options to customize it to exactly how you want. But it's a very good layout, and it does exactly what it's needed in terms of presenting your products to your customers in an easy way that's good for them to digest and possibly make that purchase. In the reverse, it might be easier when you're first starting out to pick a theme like this because there's not a lot of customization. It makes it easier for you to make those key decisions rather than getting caught up on theme editing. I know I've done that before where you want to make your theme look just right, but in the minds of the customer, it doesn't really matter. A lot of those little choices you make in the homepage don't matter because the customer might never see it, especially if they go directly to your product page. In summary, it has an appealing design, really good speed, but almost no customization in terms of making it look exactly how you want. But overall, it's a good theme, and it is free. So if you want to try it out, just download it on the Shopify theme store, take a look around, see if you want to customize it. If you don't like it, you can just get rid of it at no cost. This concludes the simple Shopify theme review. Overall, it's a very good theme. If you enjoyed this video, i love if you left a like below. If you have any questions, leave a comment. If you haven't yet, please subscribe.